Hey everyone, this is my American Girl doll room tour, and I'm just doing it on my phone, handheld, so a lot of it may be shaky and there may be fast transitions. So I just want to say that if you have any kind of motion sicknesses, sicknesses, you may not enjoy this video. Uh, but to start with, I'm just going to do a quick overview of the room, and then I can go in and explain everything in more detail, show everything closer up. But for anyone who's just curious to how it looks, you can look at the first, I don't know, minute and then dip out. So starting over here is my contemporary American Girl display, like the Girls of the Year, Trini Mies, etc. Scan down, show how they all go, how they're displayed. And again, I'll show them more close up later. And this is going to be a, a fast transition moment where I go across the room, passing my little store display, coming to where the historical start. I know this is a really awkward angle. Everything's my, this is my entire like living room area. It's all kind of tight. So we got the Mary Ellen's world up here. I'm coming into a tight area to walk across. Pilates Bakery, that makes a bridge over to the other side of my historical section. And they surround my TV. So now I'm kind of an open area. I can show you everything over here. Our historicals. And there is like a rhyme and reason to how I display them all, but it may not make sense when you look at it. Maybe it doesn't need to. They're just dolls. And I can do another quick, quick transition across my seasonal section. I'll explain that more in a minute, but I'm just trying to get over to Pilates World, which is the tightest spot on video, but it's not so, it's not so maddening in real life. Scan up. And I'll show better views in a minute, but this is just to give an idea where either this is the beginning or the end. I'm climbing up on my couch, so it may shake. All right, so that's the entire scope of the room. And now I'm going to zoom in, talk about Claudie's bedroom set. She's here with Tiana and Addie's Be Forever Nightgown. And as I mentioned in my Claudie video, the bed was too big for the detolf, so I had to make an extension, which looks ridiculous up close. But it serves its purpose, and it's not so bad once it's up on display. And under her bed is a whole lot of Claudie books, because I have a whole lot of Claudie dolls. And when I come down here, I'm going to say this a lot. This is one of my favorite displays. <laughs> this is Meet Claudie in her dressing room. And the video may be a little bit awkward, because the displays are better on portrait mode and I'm in landscape. But anyway, here she is in her dressing room. The wallpapers you're going to see are from a site called Spoonflower. They're, it's like artists submit their own designs and I just go for the sample size because that's all I need and I wait for a sale because they are very expensive. So I when I was building all these, so you've got the CJ Walker stuff in here. Sorry, I should keep moving as I'm talking. Here's like her out, this is supposed to look like outside, so she's scootering across a cobblestone road. Don't ask me how. <laughs> Lots of bruises for Claudia, I guess. But that was the most road, roady kind of wallpaper I could find on Spoonflower. So it's artists putting in their own designs. You can search for anything and you'd be amazed at what you can find. And I just found, I just looked for the most ideal things I was trying to do. Down here used to be where I kept the dresses on, or outfits on dress forms. And hidden behind them is the OG Christmas chimney. And speaking of Christmas, that's where I set up, this is where I set up my seasonal display. So starting in October, it goes from Halloween to Diwali to Christmas slash Hanukkah and then Kwanzaa slash New Year's. But for the rest of the year, this used to be what I called my international girl instead of American girl because I used to have them in more traditional clothes. But then that seemed kind of strange. So I kept her in Canada because I'm still Canadian after all. And the rest I just mixed up whatever outfits I'm in. I've, I've shown most of these already in other videos. She's been in a video I haven't really talked about her very much. That's Truly Me 129 Kara. This is Jasmine, but I call her Dipika. They're best friends. My very first video was opening Dipika, and she was there for the ride. And this is Lupe, who wears the Day of the Dead outfit at the right time of year. And now I'm going to do a quick transition back over to the historicals, and I'm going to start on the bottom shelf. So I'm just literally sitting on the floor right now. And this is Molly in my favorite Molly outfit. 
camping outfit. So I got this camping set and I put the wallpaper in there to look like camping at night. But there's so much light on right now that it does not look like night. And this fire pit lights up, but you may not see it because it's so bright. Oh, no, you can kind of see it and you at least get the idea. So they're in there making their Frank and their hot dogs. Now this next display is kind of strange because I consider all my dolls in my doll world to be characters inside their dioramas, but this one, I see them more so as dolls, like dolls at a tea party that a little girl would have. I guess it's because they're, they're not, together they're kind of anachronistic because they're not from the same periods the way they're dressed, but they do look cute as dolls a little girl would play with. And now I'm going to start over with the 90s girls, starting on the bottom with Isabel in her room with her cat. She's got the computer, so I'm just going to turn that on. I don't know how irritating it's going to be. It's pretty irritating in person, so maybe even worse on video. But that is how annoying computers were in the 90s. We had to live through it. Now you do too. And then we're coming up to Nikki's room where she's hanging out with Onika. You can see the animal print wallpaper in the background shelf i had quite a time getting this to stay up here but it worked out in the end so here are the little details and next to nikki we've got b forever kaya and i should say that her wallpaper it's a native american design but it's not nez perce because i couldn't find anything i tried but this was the best i could do you know to make it look like it goes with her I think it's her, one of her powwow outfits. And I like the pop of color, but I also love her original outfit, so I wanted to put it on a dress form behind her. Along with some of her animal friends, her doll, which kind of like fades, even though she's not the same, wearing the same dress, she always seems to fade. You almost don't see that she's wearing it. And now I'm gonna come across, starting with the 80s theme, I'm gonna, the 80s world, I'm gonna start in Mariella's room. She's got a lot of diesel here and details going on. She loves the Care Bears. That's why she's got a poster and the bear. And that's why if I turn on her TV, that's what she's watching. And again, I don't know how this is going to sound through my microphone. Oops, <laughs> I put the wrong channel on. But anyway, that's a music video she watches too. And there are a few other channels, but I don't want to be on here for an hour on this one shelf. So that is my favorite channel on there. But there are also commercials and other music videos. And her boom box down here also plays music if you put the, the tapes in it. I don't know if it plays different songs. I've only put in the one tape, and this might be really loud. Oh, okay. Sorry if the sound is really bad, but it's just a kid's toy. I don't use it. I just have everything on display, but I wanted to show how these things work. So coming up from Mariella's room, we go into Zachariah's arcade. And the Pac-Man game, I'm not going to turn it on. Uh, I showed it in another video, but I have, have played it a, a few times, and I played it since my last video. And it's just like the original game. It's a lot of fun. And it comes with a charger rather than batteries, so that makes it a lot easier to use. And I'm coming up to Courtney's room, and this is going to get a little challenging because... I'm only like 5'7"-ish, five, 5'8 five, at the most. My arms are up in the air. And I tried using a step, like a step ladder, but it, it, the logistics were terrible. So I'm just going to show you as much as I can. Stacy's hanging out on the side of the room on the phone. She's got Parsley the guinea pig up here. Um, some My Little Ponies. Because that was my first obsession in life, My Little Pony. I had so many, and it was not easy. I really had to fight for my right to My Little Pony but I was obsessed. And if I didn't share a room with my older brother, this is probably what I would have lived like, except with My Little Ponies. Got Debbie up here reading the, the Pleasant, Pleasant Company magazine catalog, sorry. Tiffany's down here with her diary. 
I'm going to show you all the details, but I'm on tiptoes. <laughs> so this is challenging. All right, and now we're going to come back down for the last two historicals. We've got this little lady, Addie, in her Be Forever school outfit. I like to see it as she's going on a picnic. She's got her lunch there and a basket of flowers. Those aren't American Girl, but I put them with her because they fit. And she's got her red quilt behind her, the original one, because I preferred it over the blue. And because of the picnic, she's got a gingham wallpaper. Over here is Kit, the anniversary kit, just with her scooter, her dog, her lunch pieces. And because she's on a scooter, she's also outside. All right, and now I'm about to scan across Claudie's Bakery, but this is a really tight walk. I moved and removed furniture, but there was only so much I could do. So I have Tiana up here displayed. This is, she's permanently part of this display because I feel like they're both, you know, making beignets together. And I love this bakery. This is one of my favorite displays. It actually is, though. That's like the focal point of my room. It's right above my TV. And I went through a little bit of drama to get this set. And it's so beautiful. So many little details. It's so much fun. I love the colors. I love that Tiana fits so well in it. So much to see. Um, I probably shouldn't spend this much time in one spot, but isn't it amazing? And we're coming across to Mary Ellen's Seaside Diner. And I've just ordered, oh no, sorry. I ordered the new diner last year when it was on back order it was during one of their sales and that back order day just kept getting pushed and pushed and pushed and it finally shipped friday so it's sunday when i'm recording this and it's going to be delivered tomorrow and then i'm going to drive it's it, they won't ship it to canada so i have to go to buffalo new york to pick it up and then when i get it i'm going to just sort of frankenstein both these sets together and I think the only piece that I have up here that plays a song or does anything, does that work? Oh, is the battery low? Wait. The battery might be low. Bad preparation. So this is one part of the 50s world, Mary Ellen's 50s world. And there's a little break in it that I have to explain as I go. So before I continue with Mary Ellen's collection, here's Claudie performing. So she's got a fireworks motif behind her, 1920s style stage that she's on. And now coming back to Mary Ellen. <laughs> nice little break, huh? This is Charisse, giving me 21. I'll introduce Mary Ellen's world eventually, but for now I'm just gonna show you what I have. So she, this, this display doesn't make a lot of sense because it didn't work out. I'll explain. I wanted these two, these two dioramas reversed. I wanted the kitchen to be in the middle shelf. And I wanted this to be down here because it was like she was sitting on TV. Oh, sorry, sitting on the sofa, watching the TV and the next diorama. But because the sofa is so wide, it pushes out the glass. So if you look, this, this should be a lot more space here. But to make it fit, I had to push the case apart, which meant it had to be as close to the middle as possible because you can't push apart the bottom. So I had to reconfigure everything in my head that was in my head. But it's okay. It's just a diorama. <laughs> it doesn't need to, make, need to make total sense. And Anea won't be here permanently. She's going to be in the Seaside Diner once I get it all put together with my new set. I don't think this set does anything without your iPad, and who really uses an iPad anymore? But we're coming up to another one of my favorite displays. And my couch is right behind me, so I'm in a very tight spot. This is Claudie at Tyson's Ice Cream Parlor. And let me just go in for, let me just turn on the light back here. You 
won't see it very much, but you get an idea of how got that old-timey feel, early 1900s. I know she's in the 1920s, but I feel like Tyson's Ice Cream Parlor would still be around in the 1920s. And above this part of the ice cream parlor is the other section of it with Rebecca. And I love the wallpaper I was able to find to complement these two sets. Strawberry motif. I love this set so much. I was able to find it locally. And it was kept really well. Like the, whoever, it was the lady's daughter. Wow, like impressive that like an eight-year-old would keep this in such perfect condition. I'm scanning back down because I want to start Molly's, sorry, Melody. I'm always mixing up their names for no reason. So this is the beginning of Melody's world. This is her wardrobe, which is underneath her music room. So it's a lot of her clothes and her dog. Then you come up here and she's in her music room with one of my favorite pieces, her piano. And it's got, she's got like a 1960s motif, of course, going on. And let me see if I have her piano turned on. Yeah, so you can see if you, if you knew how to play piano, unlike me, you could probably play a proper tune. And the microphone also has applause and laughter. I don't know how awful this sounds on my microphone, but too late now. And that's the end of Melody's world. Coming up to the 1970s. I recently shared these dolls, so some of you might have already seen them all, but this is, I mentioned, they have the basketball court behind them, which was the, the part that's on the wall is the part they're supposed to stand on, but I took it apart just so I could display it because it's really, really pretty. And there was no other way I was going to fit it, obviously. Coming over here to the pinball, the arcade from the 1970s, got Blossom. I was lucky to find so many wallpapers that suit everything I needed. Coming down here to Julie walking the dogs and biking her mutant rabbit. So much of my favorite color in there. I love, love the flowers. So I just want to focus in on it for a second before I come down to one of my favorite displays. <laughs> I hope that, what is that, like the 13th time I've said that? But I've actually talked about this being one of my favorite displays. This is Yvette's bedroom. And what I did, I found somebody selling her old bed, the purple one, the one with the purple posts. And I just took everything apart so that I could put the posts up. And she stand, Julie's standing on what would have been the canopy. And I got the beads coming down. I had to like glue them to the shelf Julie standing on. Got all these little details in there, the hamper, her pet rock, her lava lamp. I won't bother turning it on because it's so bright in there. I tried it earlier and you don't even see it. But I love this room. I took apart her bedding so that I could have, you know, like on the wall, on the floor, everything is like was used except for the the white foam, the, the white board that the mattress was on. And now I have to scan over to what I'm calling my store display because it looks kind of like a store display and there's a store inside this, the display. And this is by a company called Brick Case. I know there's a lot of glare in here because of all the lights I have on, but I'm hoping you can still get a sense of what, it, what it's like. And it lights up too. And this company makes two cases that they call American Girl displays. So this one is for up to six dolls, I think, but it's deep enough that you can put an entire scene in there, which is what I've done. So it's like they're all shopping for shoes. And now I have to step back very carefully because there's a table in the way. I had moved and removed furniture to try to make this easier, but still nothing's perfect to show my Tiana dolls, which I've shown before. So I don't have to spend too long here. So I'm going to come back now, back through my store display, coming around it, much glare, and back to my contemporary where I started. I'm going to start on the bottom row. So I literally have to sit on the floor to show you these setups. And here's Anushka in Covey's backstage. Well, I guess it's Anushka's backstage now. And I'm just going to remove this little sign. 
It's cute, but it's very plastic. <laughs> so that's how you turn on the light. There's an on and off switch underneath, and then you can man these buttons or operate these buttons, sorry. She's got five different snippets of music. Let's press the button beside the lights button. It probably sounds terrible through the microphone. I'm not sure, but there are five different ones. And if you wrap around the back of her stage, it's the doll who's actually in the stage here, whom I'm, whom I'm named Anushka. And now coming across to the next one, we've got Divya and Zada. I haven't shown them in videos before, in a video before, I haven't introduced them, but they're, they're going for co-presidents at school. And that's their story. I'll explain it better in a, in a later video. And over here, we've got Efrat, who is Efrat, sorry. She's making some inclusion and diversity buttons at the community center. And that light turns on. I don't know how much you'll be able to see it. <laughs> you can see two little white dots. So turn that back off. And over here, we've got a CYO and a doll I just opened yesterday so that I could film this video and have everything be a little less messy with a stack of dolls in the corner. So that's like a little camping scene. This was a look like they're out having breakfast, maybe in front of the water or something. And coming across here, this is my video gaming room with Logan and Rohan. I haven't, I've shown Logan before, but not, I haven't talked about them as a pair. And so these are sort of representation of me and my partner. We don't play video games. I'm reformed, but we're just little couch potatoes together. So I figured this was a good, a good scene for us. And now here's another one of my favorite displays. It's Covey. And I am in such a tight spot. Covey and Lila at Jenny's ice cream shop. And I think it's all the orange that makes me really partial to this display. And these two dolls are a very special pair to me because they're the only, as far as I know, girls of the year who came out in the same year. Poor Covey. Coming across. Got my little winter scene with Corinne and Violet. And I can't believe that amazing wallpaper I found that is such a perfect match for their little world. And these next few dolls you've already, I've already shown, not that you've already seen it, but like, so that's this pair I've shown. I don't have to spend too much time. My little hockey display diorama. These two I haven't shown before. They're supposed to be like a little pop rock duo. I won't spend too much time on them because I'm sure I'll show I'll share a video of them together one day. And up here we've got two more 90s girls who are <laughs> displayed very far away from the actual 90s twins. So this one I would consider Leah. This is Leah. I would consider her Isabel's, more so Isabel's friend, getting that midnight glass of water. And I see Hannah more so as... Nikki's best, or not best friend, good friend, because Onika's her best friend, but she's also part of the group. And I was able to find this kitchen locally. Someone was selling it used for a really, really good price, and I love all the little details. Even here, I didn't really show. I mean, most of you have seen it. You can, I think it's even still on the site if you wanted to look at what it comes with. But if you want to see it in real life, that's a rainbow high dish towel. <laughs> I use what I can. And here's another one of my favorite pieces, the Community Center. And it's accompanied by these two beautiful dolls, McKenna and Maritza. She was the final Joss mold doll I acquired. Got such a great deal. That's why, anyway, I don't want to spend too much time on every single scene because this is another one of my favorite scenes. <laughs> so it's the local bean, American Girl local bean. We've got Celeste out here doing the purchases. So many little details. I love these play sets or display sets in my life, in my opinion. She's on the clock, poor thing, but still so many details. And she's an, she's also, not only is she not a popular doll, I think it's not a popular opinion, at least among adult collectors, to love the rainbow colored hair or rainbow colored haired dolls as much as I do. And now, <laughs> I don't know how long it's going to take me to talk about this, but here, I'm going to back up again to show you Joss's scene. 
So it's some magical place where there's not only a beach, but they're skiing. <laughs> so now I'm going to come back in. I'm going to start over at the side where the ski shop is. Uh, that doll I just opened up yesterday as well. I'm going to show you the details because I love these sets so much. And all the glare and lighting is a little funny. My apologies. Oh, she's, she's shopping. She's buying her nachos. That's why she got her money out. And then there's a little sage hiding in there on her laptop. So fun to have like little dolls hiding everywhere for kiwi drink. Kira's making breakfast. She's making up some pancakes, right? It's pancakes. I really like pancakes. And out here is the minivan I found locally with the same uh, from the same people who bought the I bought the kitchen set from. Such a steal! It was like half price. I couldn't believe it. Love this is before Claudia became a sculpt and was just Claudia. Joss was my favorite sculpt. Her mold, sorry. Bought her little sea lion because it went on sale for nine dollars at. At Indigo. And this little guy over here, he's wearing an off brand surfing outfit that is a perfect match for Joss's world. And I haven't introduced him before. I, I'll probably do a video for the Joss dolls one day. And here I've shown him before. This is Pedro. He's a Covey, that's not Covey, Kaya. He was a really in bad shape Kaya doll. I got for like $10. He's just working at the taco stand. And I like his name Pedro because it means a little one. And he's a little one. And over here is Jasmine. I've shown her before. This isn't like a proper setup. One day I'm going to have to figure it out though because I have the Barbie doll coming. At the end of the year, I managed to pre order her. And I want to make this look a little bit better or, or figure out. Maybe I'll figure out something else. So now. There's no way I missed anything because I went in and I hope I didn't make, leave anything vague and have people wondering like if I didn't gloss over anything. And if I did, I'll try to do another introduction video with just the dolls if I miss anything. So now you've seen it all. I don't think much will change aside from Mary Ellen's seaside diner when I get the other piece in. And I've basically shown you my entire home. <laughs> Okay. That's everything. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the dolls.